Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Anna Maria and I will take you through some myths, legends and folklore. And in today's episode I will talk about Morus and Coelebres. If you like this episode, please like, comment and subscribe. It will help out the channel a lot. First of all, I'm sorry for pronunciations. I will try my best. The Moros are from Galician, Asturian and Portuguese mythology and stories. Galicia and Asturias are autonomous communities of Spain. Moros are supernatural beings or a particular group of supernatural beings that have lived in these regions since forever. They have always been there. But something happened and they had to flee so they went underground, but they can be seen by humans from time to time. The Moros likes treasures and they work with silver and gold, but also different gemstones. The treasures that they manage to collect are guarded by coilebres that I will talk about soon. Moros likes to be by themselves and to stay at home. But they do go out sometimes to get food, and they can also be seen at midsummer. They have been likened to elves living underground, but they have also been described as giants and brave warriors. Coelebrus is usually described as a giant dragon or a serpent with wings. They usually stay in one place, but if they do go on the move, it is because they want to eat people and cattle. As I said before, they guard over treasures, like the ones that the Moros collect. They live in caves where they hold the Sanas prisoners. I have done an episode about the Sanas before, and I will link it down below. What makes them quite dangerous is that they are said to be immortal. But there is a loophole here and you can actually kill them if you give them bread with pins in it or a scorching hot stone. There's also a chance to kill them on midsummer. And that was all for this episode. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next one.